shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who is fearless, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause, in a world of reckless automobiles. These are my motorblogs. What's up, you two? This is your boy Chris, out on the gold wing, out on the gold wing. And today I'm riding with my boy, Ken. What's going on, Ken? You got it on? Yeah, I'm on. I read you loud and clear. 10-4, Ken. You sound wall-to-wall, treetop tall, no doubt about it, on the CB radio. My boy, Ken, out on the gold wing. On the gold wing. You know, Ken, I was, uh, telling some of my gold wingers here recently uh, that when you are riding in a large group I like the CB radios a lot better uh, the scenes are great don't get me wrong the scenes are great but in a large group uh, I think the CB radios are better you don't have to worry about trying to connect and pair up you don't have to worry about trying to sync up you know the thing I like about the CB radios is you just go to a channel and uh, and you're on, you're in. It don't matter if you have five bikes or 50 bikes. Roger. True, I, uh, I agree with that. You know, but the thing about it there, Ken, the CB radios are expensive. I mean, we talking, you know, for an automobile or a truck, you know, you're only talking a couple hundred bucks. Uh, but for the Honda, you know, they charging six, $700. And that's not even putting them in. That's just the parts. Yeah, tell me about it. I know that. Yeah, you know, when I got mine, and, um, I wanted the CB on there, and uh, I knew what I wanted on there, so the CB was one of the uh, options I wanted, so that's what I got. But I've always said that motorcycling is an expensive hobby or an expensive sport, or whatever you want to call it. Either way, it's expensive. The bottom line is it's not cheap. You know, but once you buy it, you got it. You know, it's yours forever. Yeah, I, um, I don't want to buy my motorcycle then uh, go out and try to have it CB installed. And so I just had everything I wanted on it when I bought it. So once I rolled it out the door, I had everything I wanted. Yeah, Roger. You know, I misspoke uh, there, Ken, earlier. You know, I mean, a couple years back maybe, or a year back or whatever, when I said that I think the CBs are outdated. You know, but I was, you know, I, I misspoke. You know, once I got to playing around with it and, and using it, hey man, these CB radios are top notch. They're still effective. A lot of the truck drivers still use them. You know, I mean, you lose so much time. I've lost so much time trying to pair up helmets. You know, one guy has a Euclid, the next guy have a Skylar, the next guy have a Cena, the next guy have a, a whatever. But uh, with the CB radios, you just go to one channel and you're on. It doesn't matter if it's 50 bikes or five bikes? Or either. And like I say, you know, you don't have to worry about pairing up and have, make sure everybody have the same, uh, you know, Bluetooth. All you have to do is just say one channel and that's it. Yeah, 10 4. The Cena's are great too, now don't get me wrong, I love my Cena. You know, I never ride without my Cena. But I have the best of both worlds. So if I'm riding with some Harley guys and they're on the CB radio, hey, I'm, I got them. If I'm riding with some Gold Wingers and they on the, the Cenas, I got them. You know, I kind of have the best of both worlds, but I do like the CB radios for large groups. So it don't matter if it's a bunch of Gold Wings. It's just quicker, it's easier, and uh, I think it's more effective than the Cenas on a large group. Oh, yeah. Um, the one advantage I like when they uh, Cena. You know, you can talk on your cell phone. Yeah, that's another good feature about the Cena is uh, making uh, cell phone calls if you need to make a call or if somebody try to call you. Copy that. You know, and, uh, you know, I 
go on our trip down to uh, Panama City Beach. One of the guys that were riding the Harley, he had a CB, so he and I, he was, he was bringing up, I was bringing up the uh, front and he was bringing up the rear. So we was able to, uh, you know, keep the group together with no problem. Yeah, 10-4. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, you know, Harley, because a lot of those Harleys have CB radios. And uh, it's just good to have. It's a good investment. It's, it's just a good investment. We're going to say I'll, I'll have my, uh, mine for a long time. I don't anticipate selling it. Yeah, 10 -4, Same here there, Roger. Uh, same here. But if you ever did, that would be a good selling point. But I don't plan on getting rid of mine. So we're headed over to uh, meet up with the Dark Knight and some other riders. They're going to be riding to the Ozarks, and uh, we're going to trail them up, hang out with those guys for a little bit. And uh, we'll be meeting up here with Dark Knight and some other uh, bikers here in just a minute there, Roger. Well, anyway, drop me some comments down in the comment section below. If you think the CB radio is worth it, or if you think the CB radio is not worth it, is it worth the investment to you? That's all I have for you guys at this time. This is your boy Chris, out on the gold wing, out on the gold wing. And I'm hanging out with my boy Ken, riding tail gunner. And I will talk to you guys later. See ya. It's, uh, it did good, man, on the, on the ride down to Panama City Beach. I, I enjoyed that. Oh, okay. It was a good ride. Okay. Did good you, ride. Did you just put some new tires on there? You just put some new tires in there, too, didn't you? Right before the uh, trip. I had to. Uh, I got about 20, 21,000 off the original tires. 